to disappoint you. Huh? You triggered my trap card! What's up, nerds and nerdettes and wee little nerdlings? To our buddy Big John and G, the Two Gun Pixel presents Legendary Gaming! What is up indeed, my friends? We, uh, or oh, I, have been having a really great time checking out this game, Desolate, by Grey Gnome Games. This solo sci fi survival escape ish game. Yeah, so, an unboxing of both the base game and the expansion pack, Dark Matters. The first expansion pack, Dark Matters, looked really, really cool, and I can't wait, can't wait! to run this game for everyone. But right now, why don't we start off with how to set up. I'll see you down at the table. Jason Glover's Desolate by Grey Gnome Games. So we're gonna walk you, I am gonna walk you through the setup for Desolate. And the first thing I wanna point out is that there are four stages to the setup. One, deck preparation. Two, gearing up. Three, tracker. Four, component placement. Why don't we go down and take a look and see what that all means. Okay, so let's open this up and let's see what we're doing here. So we have in the game, we have a bunch of cards that you saw during the unboxing, dice, and an instruction booklet, which I've already been through. <laughs> all right, so we're going to take the decks out and the components and the dice and we're going to separate everything. We're going to take our 15 exploration cards and we're going to do them a shuffle. And we're going to put them off to the side for right now. Nice and handy. Now we're going to take our 12 conflict cards. And we're going to do the same. We're going to mix these up. We're going to shuffle them one way or the other. As long as they get mixed up. And this is just to show you the setup of it. This isn't hardcore. So, for the moment, let's put this off to the side. Now, we have our seven item cards that we are going to have to do the same. We're going to have to shuffle, mix them up, then we'll put them aside till we're ready to put everything in its proper order. All right, let's get these items off to the side for now. What you're going to do is you're going to be taking your exploration deck and you're going to be placing it close to you and the conflict deck will be placed right above that. Now you're going to get to go through the top three cards, one, two, three of the item deck. You're going to look at them, you're going to keep one, and you're going to discard the others, the other, back in the box. I think I'm going to hold on to these two, yeah, Vision Helm and Chameleon. Disappear into your surroundings and avoid one conflict. When drawing exploration cards, reveal both and choose one. Use once per level, once per game. All right, so I'm going to keep these. These other item cards we can get rid of back into the box for now. And these two item cards we're going to put down right in front of us. Like so. Now you got two tracker cards. One for health and the other for oxygen and ammo. 
and these are going to be placed above your items, off to the side, and if you notice, the image makes an eclipsing moon. That's how you set that up. And now that you're done with deck preparation and gearing up, let's move right to the trackers. Your red cube, your red tracking cube, you're going to put at the 14 space on the health. Your purple cube is for tracking your ammo. And this is going to start on number 7. The blue is going to be used to track your oxygen. And this starts all the way down here on number 4. And now... Well, the other components. You're going to keep them handy into the side, such as these two black dice. We also have four white dice that you're going to want handy. And then we have these five green power cubes or power cells. And you're going to, you're going to keep them somewhere nearby and handy as well. Now, I also want to add in that if you are playing with the Dark Matters Expansion Pack 1, well, then you're going to have a few other cards that you're going to want to, that you're going to, want to deal with. One, you're going to have these three character cards, which basically gives the game an easy, medium, and veteran level. Because these characters give you extra starting equipment, as you see. So you, if you're playing with this pack, you're going to want to choose one of the characters that you're going to be playing. You're also going to be having these four affliction cards. So you're going to want to, you're going to, want to put them handy as well, right there. Two exploration cards that you have, and they will actually be shuffled right in with the other exploration cards. So who knows when those two new places will come out. And same thing, same thing, there are some more item cards that you can use uh, unless the item is taken by one of the new characters, because that's what all of these are. These are all equipment cards for the new characters, or for the characters. There's no characters in the base game. So if you choose one of the characters for the game, then you will automatically be starting with one, two, well, I think two is the minimum. Two or more of these items here. And then finally, the Dark Matter Pack 1 also has three additional conflict cards. And they will be added, just as we did for the exploration, they will be added into the conflict deck, and they will be shuffled, and then the deck put out in the nice handy spot above the exploration cards. So if you have the Dark Matter pack, then that's how you are going to set this up. Well, let's say we decided to go with... Captain Yamamoto for the novice. Captain Yamamoto starts with large tanks, a medical scanner, SSRI, and a rifle barrel. Hmm. And then you're ready to go. All right, so that was the setup. Nice, fast, quick as I thought it was going to be. So tomorrow, we are going to have the... Tomorrow we're going to have the... Well, actually, coming up next, we're going to have the, the how-to play. We're going to pull this all together. I'm going to teach you round by round, turn by turn, level by level, how this game is soloed. Because that's the only way to play this game. <laughs> and uh, then, then on uh, tomorrow night, for a Friday night filler... I'm going to run you through this game of the playthrough. 
I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I've been, I've been waiting to get this game to the table. So thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for checking us out. I want to give a great big shout out to everyone that's been going over to the Two Gun Pixie Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages and seeing what we're doing there. Thank you very much. It's always cool when you come over and visit us. I also want to give a great big shout out to everyone that's been going over to the official Two Gun Pixie Zazzle store and checking out some of our cool RPG inspired and other nerdy designs on t-shirts, hats, mugs. Check it out. There's something cool there for everyone. Maybe you'll find something you'll like. Maybe you'll find something for someone else. Thank you for checking it out. And thank you for coming right here. Coming right over here to YouTube. This is our home, YouTube is. So thank you for watching our videos, for subscribing to our channel, for commenting, and for liking. And thank you so much, everyone, who's been sharing our videos as the greatest way to say that you liked something that you saw here. So thank you very much. Keep that up, because that keeps us going. All right, everyone. So this was the setup for Desolate. Woo! <laughs> All right, everyone. I'm your buddy, Big John Edgy, for Two Gun Pixel Presents Legendary Gaming. And my friends, I am...